front, you can see when the flatfish is found. If you look at the back, if it's wild, usually the color of that will seep through to the middle, and usually the whole of the bottom should have the same color as the top. But the farmed ones just plain white like that. That's one good way to tell. So all that is muscle. And this, you have the muscle and uh, the gut intestines that are all in there. So we're just going, cut that out, and take the head off, take the gut out, and fillet it. Right, let's just start. And again, we do our usual, separate the gill, use the knife, cut through to the back. Similar things, another side, we cut through. Okay, once we separate it, and for the spine, and then the head, and just pull out the gut from the inside. The fish. Like that, and you can just take the whole thing out. The fish head we can use like when we used to the fish stock we showed before, and this is white fish, so when using this to make a stock is very very good. And it's not as oily, so you're going to get that sweetness from the fish and from the bone and the richness, but you don't get too much of the fish flavor over. So, we won't repeat that today, but you can watch our other video to find out how you can make a quick fish broth or fish stock using the bones and the remains. So you can see the fish have that dotted line and that's where normally where the spine sits. So we cut just next to it and then on the other side we'll also cut just next to it so you'll see I'll leave a little bit of fish on there and we'll just get off slowly. Okay. And from there, okay, one thing about turbot is it has this lump on the back. It's quite difficult to cut the roots, so just avoid those. And then, okay, the fish out would follow along the spine and get it to the end here. And to make your life a bit easier, you can score along here like this. But if you're confident and you're used to uh, filleting flatfish, you don't have to do that. And then we just follow that along. And just use the bone to guide you through. Nice and easy. You want to get really close to the bone with this because there's a really special cut of flat fish that uh, you only get four pieces out of one one fish. And it's the engawa. That's like the skirt meat. It's white fish but it's very fatty and very rich and it's got a very very rich flavor. If you find your knife that's stuck, don't force it. Just adjust the angle and let the bone guide you and you can cut the fish nicely. Almost no meat left on the bone. Hear that? That means you've done a good job. And you can see again here, you've got the spine following along. And actually, this bone here, it tells us where the spines are. So we just cut along this. Okay. Do the same. Have an incision just to help cut that off. On the back side, usually it's a little bit harder because you can see 
the, the bones now kind of uh, wobbles.